Good evening. Oh, that's very dark. Maybe I should just do this. Hello, everybody. It's Porting Bed Customers. How are you? Uh, it's been an interesting, fascinating week, in fact. Uh, I'm still in the northwest of England where I was part of the Soccer X event presenting a, a couple of, of uh, panels. One with uh, Rafa Benitez, with he, where he explained his methodology uh, or as a manager, so how he works and decisions, why he takes the decisions he takes and how should the how, how the structure of the club should be. Uh, just, just fascinating because he was, um, he was a manager talking about his job with a detail that you don't, know, don't normally see. And then it was another uh, completely different panel but also really fascinating where Gary Neville and Brian, um, uh, Paul Highward and uh, Mendieta and Brian Borwick uh, basically just talked about the media, the new media especially too, and the football clubs and the football players and especially Gary, Gary Neville came out with really very good stuff like the fact that why not we're going to have the, the FA should organize a, a, a tweeting community if you like or even a different program where footballers and football people can actually interact with each other without the abuse <laughs> without the the you know the, the, the people they probably don't want to hear about and more like uh, where they can share their own experiences and you know uh, prices for cars and whatever else so fascinating I don't know what I'm telling you all this but uh, that's the week it's been and that's why this video comes out so late because um, dragging on from that it's just been a, a long Friday as well but anyway we've got some games to discuss uh, I've chosen three uh, from the Premier League and uh, a couple more from from La Liga as usual the first one is Crispin Rages versus, Ar versus Arsenal and uh, <laughs> how does Liverpool fans feel about losing three points against Crispin Rangers and then they just go and lose themselves against Sunderland uh, I think it was a freak result that won against Liverpool Crispin Rangers I don't think they have much of a chance against Arsenal uh, in the sense that you know finding an Arsenal has what seven uh, late, uh, seven games in a row they seem to be alright uh, in terms of um, confidence and goal scoring form defensive form as well and in terms of betting uh, I was just scratching my head like this and uh, and I thought uh, what could be interesting well how about Van Persie and Ramsey Aaron Ramsey to score in the game just saying that because uh, if you back Aaron Ramsey he's at score at any time 7-2 but Ram uh, Ramsey could have scored at, uh, a hat trick at Everton uh, when when Arsenal played away last. Uh, then he rested uh, against Aston Villa, but he could be part of the team again. Good news as well that Bulcher is training with the team, so uh, good luck to him. Very really nice guy. Uh, so that could be the uh, that could be the answer to that one if you want to put money on it. Um, I've got few more stats to support the case that uh, there will be over 2.5 goals if you want to be, be doing that. Uh, it's been over 2.5 goals scored in, in six of Arsenal's last seven games in the Premier League. Queen's Park Rangers have conceded at least two goals in six of the last eight matches in the Premier League, etc. So another fascinating game at White Hart Lane. Spurs uh, received the visit of Swansea. And... If you have a look at the odds, it's like yeah, Spurs are going to win the fight in the, the, the playing against Swansea after all. But um, Spurs are, uh, haven't hit form recently. They they having problems to score, and Swansea on the other hand, they do that thing that really hurts Spurs. They keep the ball. So if Swansea are able to dictate the pace as they normally do, and and they can do it away and and at home. Spurs will find, as it happens with any other team, they find the, uh, the the rival team will have the opportunity to, to open up the defence of, of Spurs and have chances. They allow chances to everybody Spurs, they're that generous. Uh, but they seem to, uh, apart from if you forget the Everton results, once seem to take advantage of those chances as well in a high percentage. So it could well be that, uh, that they actually uh, surprise Spurs. Maybe not a victory, but how about, uh, how about a, some kind of draw? Um, so that that will be for for Spurs. Uh, a couple of things that may help you to the side. Uh, Spurs have lost just one of the last fourteen Premier League home games, winning ten of the others. Uh, but have a look at the uh, at, at those results because it hasn't come uh, so much recently. It's just uh, that recently they just seem to have 
they seem to have one thing that we mentioned earlier in the season, which is that they're very happy with a box-to-box -box game, but when they have to control the game, the situation, the ball, they sometimes don't do it in a way that they should, and with the quality they have, they should do it more often. Sometimes it's because Modric feels on his own and needs more midfielders of that caliber to be able to do so, but sometimes as well because the, the manager encourages that kind of uh, offensive football, which sometimes doesn't work. So imagine if you change Swansea for a Spanish team, Spurs will be playing against a Spanish team here in a way, and I think Spurs will, will if they don't understand, they could make the mistake for underestimate Swansea. So perhaps that's what they should do. Think that you're going to meet a top side in Spain or at least with the characteristics of a top side in Spain and try to just be calm don't go for the box to box but something that perhaps Spurs don't have in themselves at the moment we'll see about the next manager we'll talk about that next week actually remind me uh, any of you and a quick betting tip uh, the odds apparently look good uh, for what I've been seeing for Bolton and Wolves uh, as an away victory is now four straight defeats for Wolves uh, under Terry Connor and uh, Bolton look at a good price here because they got two victories forget uh, the FA Cup but in the league they've got two consecutive victories that's, uh, that make them come out of the uh, of the bottom three and climb up places but they also won at relegation rivals Chris Perrin, Rangers, Blackburn and Wigan this season uh, as well as Everton so it looks like uh, it could be a victory should try to go for that and if not blame me um, now in La Liga the main ga the main games will be on Saturday uh, and that is if you bear with me a second Sky will be doing uh, games at uh, 7 and at 9 the main games of the weekend perhaps Osasuna Real Madrid and Barcelona Aleti Bilbao and a couple of things to say about both of them Osasuna beat, Real, uh, beat Barcelona this season and in my eyes, if Real Madrid managed to get the three points here, they will win the league, uh, as simple as that. They may lose against Barcelona at the Clásico, but even though they have a difficult uh, difficult trips to Atletico Madrid, for instance, uh, they is, this is the one where I believe Osasuna can actually harm Real Madrid. A Real Madrid that will, ha will have some players missing, like uh, Cadira, Di Maria still not recovered. Benzema is on top form, and I will put money on him to score. Uh, and so will Cristiano Ronaldo perhaps but Osasuna have in them especially in set pieces something that Real Madrid have suffered at uh, defending they, they, they can do harm there um, I don't know it could be a surprise it could be Osasuna beating Real Madrid or a draw a draw will leave things more or less as they are but of course with the possibility of Barcelona getting closer if they beat Aleti Bilbao and they will beat Aleti Bilbao not only because they're playing at the Camp Nou but also because Aleti Bilbao are tired, they had one less day to rest. In fact, they only played, and you see how they play. They play like a hundred, hundred percent energy and commitment. And at the end, you saw that game against Schalke, similar to uh, Manchester United. They were they were two three up, and they would continue attacking, and they ended up two four at Schalke. So great result for them, but they were shattered. And I know from from inside information that they are tired. They some ten of the players. In fact, 11 now. I played 3,000 minutes or more. In the case of Iraola, 4,000 minutes. Now, it's at 3,000 minutes that you actually get hit with poor performances because of time. So, performances start suffering at 3,000 minutes. And there's 11 of those guys. There's no rotations. It may well be that a lot of new players come into this game. Uh, they may have the foundation, so the, 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 the uh, DNA of what Bielsa is trying to do with the team, but they're obviously not as good as the regulars. Uh, so we'll see if Llorente plays. Llorente takes a while to recover physically from games, so may play the second half. And Barcelona, on the other hand, they just they were shopping in Milan, stayed an extra day because there was a general strike uh, in Spain, so basically just decided to stay an extra day and train in Milan. Uh, it was funny because uh, it must have been Inter fans, they just went to, or even Milan fans as well, because obviously they play in Barcelona. They went to the training ground where uh, Milanello, Milanello, where Barcelona were training, started shouting. Uh, you know, Cristiano, Cristiano, but more loudly, Mourinho, Mourinho. So, yeah, a bit of uh, banter there. So, anyway, I think yeah, Barcelona will probably uh, beat Aleti Bilbao. Uh, if they don't, then they may say goodbye to La Liga. But remember, from the moment that uh, Pep Guardiola said, we're not going to win the league, 
it's been seven consecutive victories in the league. So, and it's uh, two more in the Champions League and, uh, and a draw. So, uh, they seem to believe that even though they may not think that they have a chance to win the league, they're just hoping that Real Madrid will lose it. That's why Guardiola says that there is no chance to win it. Oh, sorry, it keeps coming and going. Didn't realize that. So, if you're not bored and you arrive to the end of this, just let me say, my sporting bed friend, see you next week now. Yes.